Hello, today I'm planning on going to the zoo, but before I go, I need to pack some supplies for my ventilator and tracheostomy tube. I also need to prepare items for my IV nutrition called TPN. However, I will do a separate video on that and will release it on my other YouTube channel called Chronic Illness, God is My Strength. And please stay tuned to the end for some exciting scenes I will include from today's visit to the zoo. When preparing to leave the house, the very first thing I do is plug in my ventilator and charge the batteries on my ventilator. I want to make sure my batteries are fully charged before leaving home. Next, I will pack some supplies. One item I always bring with me is an obturator. This is a small piece of plastic which is used to insert a tracheostomy tube. However, I will also use this in case my tracheostomy tube becomes clogged with mucus. I will take out my tracheostomy tube and push the obturator through the tracheostomy tube to clear the tube of any mucus. I will then wipe off the mucus with a clean paper towel. I will place a small amount of lubricant jelly on the end of the tracheostomy tube and reinsert it. I will take a clean obturator and wrap it in a clean paper towel. I will place these items along with a small container of lubricant jelly in a clean zip top plastic bag. If an emergency happens where my tracheostomy tube becomes clogged with mucus, I can grab this bag and all the items I need to clear my tracheostomy tube are in the bag. When I'm home, I use a heated humidifier. This uses a special plastic tubing which attaches to the heated humidifier. Since I will not have access to an outlet while at the zoo, I am not going to bring along my heated humidifier. Instead, I will use a different tubing called a dry circuit. This tubing attaches directly to the ventilator. I will place a small device called a heat and moisture exchanger in the tubing circuit. The heat and moisture exchanger will help keep my airway moist while I'm not attached to the heated humidifier. Before leaving home, I will run 5 milliliters of saline through my nebulizer. This helps clear my airways of mucus. It also helps rehydrate them. When I return home from the zoo, I will also run another 5 milliliters of saline through the nebulizer to help rehydrate my airway. Also, when I return home, I will disconnect from my dry circuit and reconnect to my heated humidifier. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Off to the zoo I go. Bye-bye. Because it's a warm-blooded animal. So that little mouse could be hidden under a pile of leaves up to six feet away. That snake will still sense the heat coming off of that mouse. No, yeah. it's cold. No, no. <laughs> they can be uh, anywhere between 60 to about 100. Uh, one of our female was uh, brought in from the Galapagos. On my left side, we are passing our mandrels. I mentioned them earlier that they really do love eggs, omnivores. Now these guys are what chimpanzees like to hunt and eat. So they live on opposite sides of the zoo for a reason. I'm just kidding. Whether it's when it's nighttime, all of them have to come in. They cannot be left out. The big reason is the safety of the animal. Over here on my left side, one of the last animals we're going to be seeing today is our grant zebra. So the further south that you go in Africa, the wider apart that those black stripes get. So if you're really far south, you're going to notice that the black stripes are a lot thicker. These guys are more sub-Saharan Africa, so more towards the middle. This is just a brief taste of the grand adventure I had as I went on a behind-the-scenes tour of the zoo. It was super exciting and included feeding animals such as a camel, giraffe, and flamingos. Also, my wheelchair was damaged during the tram ride through the zoo. It was quite a day. For more fun and excitement, please click on the link to the video called Behind the Scenes Zoo Tour. My wheelchair fell apart.